I'm giving Danny Graham a Danny Graham's never been spoken about in an FM series so much as this one, and I've not even bloody signed him. <gasps> Imagine if I signed Danny Graham. Holy shit. We've also got the uh, the Argentine Danny Graham, so we're not in that we're not in desperate need of a striker. Oh my god, biggest transfer news of the summer so far. Palmer, they're, they're doing more business, they're involved. Danny Graham, we're hearing. Palmer fans obviously excited, they've been seeing a lot of the Argentine version, but now the real thing is coming to Palmer. Danny Graham makes the move uh, to Palmer drama, but we still haven't got a goal. Danny Graham, though. If you can whip this into the middle, Danny Graham. I, it's the best signing I've ever made. Oh, I sold him. Okay, um, Danny Graham is gone to Birmingham, and he's not the only one of the outs. But thank you, Danny, for your service. In his time at Palmer, 24 appearances, 7 goals in his first season, didn't feature so much in the second year. It feels like he's been here forever, doesn't it? Uh, anyway, let's, so let's look, out, look, let's look at what else has happened. Uh, as you can see, got a few bits and pieces going on over there. Uh, so Danny Graham's gone, uh, the only one I've got money for, and then a lot of squad players that you'll probably recognise the names of, people like Mendes, Conti, a big one that you'll probably recognise, Costa, Maneri, uh, all left the club. Just, I didn't play them much, obviously a really good right back, wish I played him more, wish I'd give him a new contract, didn't happen. Though, losing a right back is the one position I'm not too upset about it, and you'll see why when I show you uh, the squad as it stands right now. So, no one's been brought in yet. Uh, we are in the 3rd of July. As you know, like to get business done early. Don't like to mess around. Um, so, expect things to happen pretty frequently within the next two to three weeks. Um, so, let's get into it then. Oh, before, uh, sorry, before we do, let's look at the squad as it is. Let's see what we're going to have to improve. Uh, and as you can see, if you look at our sort of average ratings, on this right side, it's a bit top-heavy, if you know what I'm saying. Um, a lot of quality in the top areas, from Storaro down to Seri, a lot of good players in those four departments. Midfield is a weakness. Defensive midfield definitely needs improving, uh, so it's a place we're going to look at. Need a new goalkeeper. Uh, it says he's still here. He's not. He's about to leave. He's about to have his contract released at the age of 34, uh, and I've got a few new things up my sleeve potentially about to happen. Now, I mentioned right back. Why are you not concerned? But you should be concerned. Fasto uh, Manfredini is 16 years old, and he's already better than most right-backs in the world of football. So I think he will become a god. Uh, he came through on the uh, on the youth thing a, a while ago. I don't even mention it when it happens until it becomes relevant, and right now, relevant. So uh, let's see how he gets on. I think we've got another one, actually. I think this guy as well, uh, Anguix. Again, not a player you'll have seen before, but a player you'll see a lot more of uh, in the upcoming games and seasons, I'm sure. Uh, Domingo. Uh, Domingo. That's what we'll call him. Uh, so, yeah, let's see what we get up to. Uh, I'm sure there'll be some sort of uh, breaking news as and when it happens. You know how it is. I said it was about to happen. It's now official. He's gone. It might be a decision I regret, obviously, if we bring in another keeper and he's not quite as good. Uh, he's been at Palmer for a little while, obviously. He was here when we came in. Uh, he concedes a lot of goals. Every single season, he's conceded at least 50 goals. I, think, I don't know if that's just a defensive issue or a keeper issue. Either way, this might well be the man to replace him. Cristiano Nuri. Um... I don't know yet. He's about to be like properly scouted, I think. I don't think I've got a scout. We have got a scout report on him. Four and a half star, three and a half star potential. He, he, do you know what? This is that. This is our man, folks. This is our man. Obviously, I've not got a full scout report, but I'm feeling pretty good about it. And he, he's letting me offer him a contract. And I'm going to offer that contract. And he's going to be in the van. Okay. The French invasion. Uh, lots of teams want Babacar. 3.9 million is his value. I, I rate him at about probably 11 million. So, I mean, if anyone comes at me with 11 million i guess we'll accept what i'll do is i'll i'll see if they're if they're really interested 10 point what would it be 10.3 million come on let's let's get this done they withdrew so the first signing as it's not for an actual fee uh there's no there's no big hurrah okay with the new rules uh gokan inla uh on a free transfer he's, he was released by napoli 34 years of age although he's getting on a little bit i mentioned we're lacking quality of the, in the middle gokan inla could be that guy a goreen in the midfield oh my word so for the first time i'm gonna have a little look at the uh, the transfer list i've done the first there's one name obviously that jumps out at me immediately and that is lucas Leiva, a player we've had 
uh, at Palmer before. He's transfer listed and he's loan listed. Last season he was not. Did he play much for Liverpool last year? Once. Should have let him come back to me. Uh, yeah, we're going to make a bid, whether it's a transfer fee or not. Yeah, his wage will be too big, so we'll look at a loan. 50% of his wages for a player like Lucas. That's honestly, with, with two back there now, I'll tell you what, a Lucas Tom Huddleston middle. Oh, good grief. I realised I'd limited myself to defensive midfielders. Let's look at all of them. Jack Wilshire is available. Well, he's transfer listed. I don't know if that means he's available. No, I don't, I don't want Jack Wilshire. I don't, I, they couldn't give me Jack Wilshire. I don't know why I'm considering this when I've sold Danny Graham. What am I thinking? No. This isn't, again, not FIFA. Love FIFA. This just isn't FIFA. Now, I was doing my rounds uh, before we started recording of the under-19s and uh, under-20s of, of nations. This guy popped up, uh, Emmanuel Ariola. I'm not sure if he'll, if he'll be any good, but there's a potential here, I think, folks. There's a potential here. Uh, and considering I'm not paying to... Hang on, purchase all. Oh, okay, I'm deducting 66,000. From uh, from my budget, I think we I think we'll stretch it. Okay, or oh, more more than that. It's nearly two hundred thousand. I guess we'll still do it. So how good actually is he then? Oh, we don't get him until when? Don't get him until January. Good bit of business. Big breaking news here, folks. Says Palmer sign Cristiano Neri. Uh, he's the Palmeiras goalkeeper that's been hotly rated for a, a time at the top. It's a very big signing for Palmer. Obviously, losing their, their old goalkeeper, needing a new one. Uh, a 21 year old traded in for a 34 year old. He will be a first team pick, according to uh, manager Dr. Benji. It's a great signing, and I, for one, am very, very excited. I apparently have to pay his agent as well. I mean, I mean, hang on. <clears throat> slipped out of character for a second there. Uh, yeah, apparently his agent wants 15 as well. But one, uh, 2.1 million deducted from the budget. Uh, oh, hang on. 3.3 million deducted. It's, fi it's fine. Whatever it is, it's fine. Done deal. I'll tell you what, folks. Looking at the full stats of the man. Only six foot tall. He might grow to 6'1", 6'2". You never know with goalkeepers. Uh, but 17 handling, 16 kickling. One-on-ones one -on aren't great. Communication and command of area could be worked on. Reflexes, good throwings, good work rate, teamwork, positioning, determination. And he's only 21, folks. Oh, oh, I'm excited by him. I'm very excited by him. Currently two-star ability, but will obviously grow into the best goalkeeper in the world. And he's the best keeper at the club, but more important. Lilla, uh, Lilla back in for Babacar. So, I guess after we smashed him in the Europa League, they now want my best players. Are you interested? You're not interested. Stop messing me around. Breaking news, folks. Lucas Lever is returning to Parma. It's official. It's a big deal as well. Where it's a big, I say it's a big deal. It's a loan deal. But loan deals or not, it's still important. Uh, the defensive midfielder coming back after a successful loan to the spell the first time round, having another bite of the cherry. 31 years of age now, but will still be a key player in the Parma midfield as they push for a Serie A title. Just a Serie A. That's not what it's called. There we are then. It is indeed official. Lucas back at Palmer. Really pleased actually. Mentally he's growing every single year. Uh, physically obviously declining a little bit but technically still there too. Marking, passing, tackling. He's going to sit in that midfield uh, with someone else. I don't know who that someone else will be yet. Maybe it'll be a new face. Maybe it'll be uh, someone who's already there. Maybe a Storaro for example. Um, but yeah delighted to get him back in. Really enjoyed him the last time he was here uh, and I think this year he's got more quality around him. More quality in front of him as well which I think will be important. So uh, Lucas back at Palmer. Very pleased. So I thought I might as well keep you up to date on what I'm doing while I'm not actually doing transfers. Uh, I've just been going through loads of the uh, the under-20s of in Brazil. Uh, I've just gone through some Argentinians as well to see if I can find any interesting players. I've gone through all the club sides as well uh, to see if we can get some good ones. The only one that's really caught my eye that I'm actually thinking of purchasing is uh, is Lee from Palmeiras. Uh, I don't know much about him, but I'm intrigued about more of him. Uh, I'm going to keep getting the scout report on him, see if we can get potentially a move going. Um, but I like Brazilian defensive midfielders, uh, and this looks like he could be a gem. I offered Pedro a contract, and uh, he wasn't kind of having it. He, well, he was having it. He wanted 110 grand, which I wasn't offering him. So I'm getting him on loan, uh, an experienced head that we haven't got very many of. Um, so I'm thinking, Pedro... But actually, well, I say this. <laughs> I think our right wing is already 30. But Pedro, you know, he's been around a bit. What I mean is he's been like a cultured, experienced head. He's, he's won things. He's done stuff. Uh, we need more players like that. Something interesting has happened as well. Brazil have just won the World Cup. And uh, more interesting, I guess, for me personally, is that... In uh, so interesting bit of news... Um, 
So, interesting bit of news. Brazil have won the World Cup. And as you can see, they've done it against Italy. Uh, the final was nil-nil. I imagine they went defensive. It went to penalties. Uh, and Brazil have scraped through in the end. Uh, no Palmer players on either side, which is a bit of a shame. I guess we didn't have any call-ups. Um, but in the future, we will do. We're going to have all the call got The whole Italy team is going to be Palmer players. That's, that's the plan, anyway. I've been snubbed, which in a way is actually a good thing. Uh, this league, I don't know if you'd say it league, because of the, uh, the the thing above the E. I, there's a proper word for it. Um, but I'm trying to find more about him. I've got a two-week uh, scouting mission on him to try and get as much information as possible. Right now, we're still kind of not too sure. But uh, I'm going to keep looking through Brazil, look through Colombia, look through Argentina, see if we can get anyone interesting. Also, the the reason there's kind of a little bit more focus on Brazil is I've just got Lucas in. So uh, getting in a defensive midfielder from Brazil, obviously we've already got the perfect tutor at the club for you. Although if he's on loan, can he tutor? Oh. Cheers, Pedro. Hope you enjoyed the uh, the hotel we paid for for a week. Twat. Folks, more breaking news. It's Adam Banana Lalana, and he's moving to Parma on a free transfer. How cute, right? Yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah, it's a free transfer. He's going to cost about a million in fees. Um, well, probably 1.5 million in fees, but I'm pretty pleased with it. He's, he's costing little under nothing. Uh, he can play in all positions. I say, I, say, I say I'm pleased with it. I mean, I'm impartial. I'm just a man that does the, the Sky Ben Sports News. Um, for, let's see what Dr. Benji thinks. Yeah, I, I think I think it's a I think it's a good signing. I mean, look at him. Look at his pretty face. Look at his smiley face, like brothers. Okay, in all, in all seriousness, folks, you might be thinking, why has he signed Adam Lallana? I'll tell you why. Because he can play across the front three. He can play out left. He can play in the middle. He can play out wide. He's not the paciest, but that's fine. You know what? We had Honda last year. Did a job for us. Uh, and and Lallana can play in like six positions. Two not so well, but, th but three or four of them really really well. So I mean. He's a decent sign-in, uh, and he's immediately worth nine million somehow. So I mean, if he, if it doesn't go well, I'll just sell him at the end of the year, and we'll forget about it. Uh, but I think he adds a little bit more strength in depth up top. Uh, so yeah, Adam Lallana to Palmer. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I can get used to that. At Palmer right now, we only have two sort of recognised strikers, both very good players, but only two. Sadi and Babacar, the only two players that can play up top. Obviously, we saw in the Europa League final uh, that we come unstuck a little bit because we didn't have another striker to put on the bench uh, which in the end left us in a bit of a twiz Terry Ambrose is signed for Manchester City uh, he develops really really nicely on this game uh, he reminds me of a little man I used to use called on gender but a bigger more sort of powerful forward um, looking forward to using him think he'll be a good addition in our sort of three striker lineup that we've got we can rotate him in and out when, uh, when needed and yeah I think he's a good little buy so well I say buy good little loan you know, uh, we're only paying fifty-seven thousand a month, and that's it. No, nothing else. Uh, wages are paying hundred percent, but thirteen thousand. Like what? Who, who gives us stuff? No monthly fee or nothing. Oh, I'm all over it. You might be able to hear a guy drilling outside. Just let's do our best to ignore it. Uh, I'm selling players. I'm shedding players. Uh, prodiga has gone for eighty-nine thousand. Doesn't look like a lot, but I mean, thirty-one years of age. He's on fifteen get k a week or something. I thought, you know what? We'll get off the wage bill and we'll uh, we'll move on. Uh, Rossetti, a player that you never really saw, never really played, was just one of those guys that had on loan for like four years or or had loaned out for four years. Finally sold him for a million. Uh, to see Serna, which I'm pretty pleased with and also one more out which is likely to happen uh, in the next coming days is Carbonara likely to leave for uh, for one point something million um, and you'll see why all this is happening in a minute Carbonara thank you for your work you've gone to Sampdoria I wish you all the best never moaned never complained just when I asked you to do a job you did that job we all miss you sir goodbye you know when I bought Sigurdsson and I was like we're running the club into the ground might be doing it again okay things just got very interesting very quickly uh with the deal i'm trying to do and then i've had a bid from shakhtar for 16.25 million for gilfie sigurdsson now he cost me 11 million he had a good year for me last year not as good as i was hoping i thought he would do more if i'm honest i thought he'd contribute more and the signing i'm going to bring in is quite exciting quite surprising but quite exciting um, I'm going to accept. It'll all become clear soon. Breaking news. Palmer have signed, or are at least about to sign, Stephen Oshahari. Uh, seven million needs to be deducted from Palmer's wage or transfer budget. Well, all the budgets. Um, 
The, the Guildford Sigerson transfer, which we believe will be happening sometime later this week, hasn't gone through yet. Uh, so as things stands, Shahari and Sigurdsson will be at the same club. It'll be up to Palmer to decide whether that goes through or not. But as you can see, Stephen Al-Shahari, £50,000 a week into the Palmer first team, the 25-year-old Italian forward, hotly rated. The overall deal will cost £12.5 million. Currently standing at seven. Uh, the deal has taken a long time. Palmer have been shedding players to other wayside. But Stephen Al-Shahari is making his way to Palmer. My word. Hashtag scenes. Whatever next. So, you know, I make signings and the club goes, don't do that. We haven't got the money. I, I just do it anyway. Oh, that, that buy 7.5 million. In all seriousness, right, looking at El Shahari, he can play up front, he can play on the left, he can play on the right, he fits everything I need, and he's Italian, and we've not had... Look, it's funny he's immediately gone to 18.25 million. Come on. Boys, we've got to be happy about it, right? It's a, it's a coup, it's a coup! I'm delighted, I'm so pleased. Uh, let's see how it goes, though. He's got a big season ahead of him. Stephen El Shahari now plays for Palmer. Wow. Okay, folks, I'm doing something unprecedented, right? This has never happened in a series of mine before, but you are going to decide if we keep Gilfie Sigurdsson at Palmer or not. In the description below, there will be a straw poll, and we are going to decide as a group if we think selling Gilfie Sigurdsson for a total 16.25 million uh, is good business. It's not all up front. It's 11 million up front, and then uh, like 5 million over a few years. Sigurdsson will get some money, uh, 2.4 million. Swansea will get 600. So basically, 12 million ish, give or take, um, for for Gilfie Sigurdsson. Uh, I don't think we'll ever be able to sell him for this much ever again. He's 28 years of old. 20 years, 20 years eight of old. But yeah, you get to the side. Straw poll in the description, and this will bring the episodes to an end. And we'll find out next time whether we sold him or not. Gilfie Sigurdsson, deal or no deal. I'll let you decide. So I want to lay everything out there for you. We are obviously lacking a lot of defenders, so that might weigh into it. Um, Attacking-wise, we're looking pretty strong. You know, we can play Martinez in the middle. We can play Gomez on the right. Lalana's another one who can come in. Uh, Thierry Ambrose can play on that right side. We've got options in this forward area. So it's up to you, though. I'm letting you decide yes or no. We're going to go with the majority of the yes or no. Um... Yeah, this is going to be interesting, I guess. Never done this before. I guess we'll wait and see. I've got no idea what you're going to say. I genuinely don't know what you think. Um... And obviously we will be able to reinvest some of that money into the squad. Uh, so that brings us to the end of the episode. Journey. So I feel like this might have been a longer episode. I don't know. I've not edited it yet. But I feel like this might have been quite a long episode. If you've enjoyed the transfer special, as you always often seem to, please leave a like on the video. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for the support recently. And I'll see you next time. We love with care. Goodbye.